D, wait for it. Light bulb. I got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So I just finished the latest episode of The Bad Batch, and um, it was a pretty good episode. It was a little slow, in my opinion, at the beginning, um, and there was a lot of talky-talky, but I felt like the last uh, like couple of scenes really, like, A, had a lot of action and really set up and showed you what the Empire is all about and everything and how cruel they can be, um, you know, with their their ability to destroy. <laughs> so um, I like the empire in, in certain ways. Like I like order and structure and everything, but I don't like just, you know, destroying stuff for no reason kind of thing. And that's basically what they, they did. Well, I mean, they did it for a reason, but it wasn't a good one. Um, and I, like I said, I, you normally, uh, I would say that the Bad Batch, I think, are really boring. But I actually thought this was a good episode, and I actually liked the Bad Batch in this one. Um, and I liked their conflict with their little sharpshooter member, who I have not memorized his name. I thought I was going to. You know what? He doesn't deserve a name. He's he's a jerk. <laughs> so, But um, I did like this episode. So why don't we... Uh, break it down and I'll talk a little bit more while I break it down and everything. So the bad batch are flying in their ship and everything. And then we, Oh no, this is uh, the, 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 uh, the bad guy is a uh, sharpshooter guy is a uh, uh, driving Hunter back to uh, Camino. And we don't know that until later, but he's, they're going back to Camino. So he's sitting here and he's all like, you know, I'm, you know, uh, I'm going to radio your people with using your comms and, uh, and they're going to come for you. And he's like, they're going to know it's a trap. And he's like, yeah, they're going to know, but they're still going to come for you. And then back on this one planet, I don't remember what it is. Uh, they're repairing their ship and she's getting upset. And she's like, we need to go save Hunter. And he's all like, we need to go back to that planet and save Hunter. And he's all like, we will, but we can't do anything until the ship is fixed. So you need to just calm it down, sister. And so she's, you know, um, a frustrated and everything, but they get a, they get a call from his comm and they're all like, this is a trap and everything. Like, you know, they knew it would be, and they're like, it doesn't matter. We're still going to go kind of thing. So then back on Camino, uh, they land and he tells him, you know, he's like, where are the others? This general guy, I don't remember his name. And he's all like, don't worry, they'll be here and everything. And so he, they go inside and, uh, he's, and she, this stormtrooper, I, I can't remember if this is male or female, but they're all like, you know, he uh, I, I don't trust him or something like that. I can't remember what she said, but the, he's all like, don't worry and everything. Uh, and so they're they're flying back and she uh, uh, Omega is all like, hey, there's a landing platform that we can land on where nobody will know we're there and everything. So uh, they get to uh, Camino and it's, it's you know, raining because it's always raining there. And they, they he, they're like, she's like, get lower, get lower and everything. And he's like, if I get any lower, I'll be in the ocean. Uh, tech does. No, not tech. Yeah, tech. And so um, he he gets really low and the thing pops up out of the water. And they get on there and, and uh, they get on these little elevators that will lead them into the tubes, which will lead them to a science lab or whatever. And he's like, this is not on any of the schematics. And she's like, it was kept a secret. So then uh, they're all sitting here talking and everything. And then uh, Hunter and Sharpshooter. God, I can't remember his name. What is his name? Shooty Shooty. Anyways, uh, he's all like, where are all the, the, the other clones? And he's like, don't you worry about it. And he's like, you know, the clones are next, buddy. You know, you're just you're on the chopping block. You just got to give it a hot minute. They're going to get they're going to find uh, they're going to get rid of you. Don't you know that? You know, clones are clones are going to be obsolete to them. And he's like, not all of them. And so uh, they they you get into this little command center and he's all like he's like a uh, ship was in and uh, came into the orbit and they're like, that's them. And so there's an I can't remember what else they said here, uh, but it must not have been important if I don't remember, because I remember what they said or later on. So then they get into this little facility and this is the one Camino uh, scientist, uh, her lab. And this is where all of these the the Bad Batch were created. And <clears throat> Of course, they don't remember and everything. And so uh, they're they're sitting here and uh, they figure out where uh, he is. Oh, and then this robot pops up out of nowhere, like a freaking Houdini trick. And he's all like, the robots were being decommissioned. All the clones were being sent off planet and everything. So I hid. 
which is fun. I like these little robots. They're funny. So then they get ready to go. And uh, and then uh, these two are sitting here and they're talking. I can't remember what they said either. But it, basically, it's like the sharpshooter guy's pissed because they left him and they didn't try to save him. And he was like, you didn't give us a choice. You know, we had to get out of here and you were not on our side kind of thing. So then they they get to uh, this room and they're right underneath where he's at in the training facility. And as soon as I knew that, I was like, he's like, he, the tech is all like, we'll go through the, the lift and we'll have a slight advantage. And I'm all like, you guys, from episode whatever, three or whatever, this sharpshooter guy has had the, the jump on you because he knows what you're going to do. So whatever it is you're going to do, don't do it. So uh, I don't understand why people they why they didn't do it. I don't get it and everything. I'm, I'm so annoying. So they leave Omega behind. They get up on the lift. Oh, they get up on the lift and they get into the thing. And of course, they're all waiting there for them. And they're like, "Gotcha, bitch!" and everything. So they're like, "Throw down your weapons." So they throw down the weapons, and then they send a signal to Omega. And they're because they they were like, if we're sending you the signal, means get back to the ship and get off the planet kind of thing. And she's all like, no, I have a better idea. Of course you do. So and she's going to uh, start up the robots, the training facility robots. And so they're sitting here and he's all like, you left me, but we have a chance to be together kind of thing. And uh, and so she sets up the robots uh, and he lets him go. And then he sh he sets up all these mirrors and then shoots all these these guys these stormtroopers. This stormtrooper gets taken out by uh, Omega, like in the robots. She they don't it doesn't get killed and everything because then that that storm she shows up later, and he's all like, "We can be." He's like, "You left me, but I kind of forgive you. Ever we can be together and we can work together underneath the Empire." And Hunter's like, "You're insane. You're insane. There's no way that that's gonna work." It's it's not it, they're not going to let us, you know, be alive anymore. They're going to take us out and everything. They don't want clones around. They only want one clone around and that's the emperor. Uh, so then the 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 robot, she activated the robots and now they all come in and they're they start a training facility, which a uh, training exercise, which was like, fine. I liked that. I did like the scene, but I was like, I mean, like, it's like, whatever. It's like, fine. It's like it's like I like it, but it's like so like like what? like another training facility thing. Like what, what is going on here? Anything. So anyways, so they're fighting and everything. And then Hunter and uh sharpshooter guy are fighting while the other ones are holding off these robots. And then the stormtrooper comes in and she sees everything going on. She, she gets out and she sees that the sharpshooter guy is helping them. So uh, the general guys like get, get on, get off the planet. Uh, you know, they're lost kind of thing. So then that one gets off the, and then uh, Grand Moff Tarkin is sitting here and talking to this guy. I don't know who this, what his name is either. I don't memorize. It doesn't even matter. He'll probably be dead by the end of the series. Um, but in plus one general, you've seen one general, you've seen them all. Am I right? Anyway, so then this guy, he's all like, we have all the scientists for the cloning stuff. We have everything we need. And he's like, file when ready. So then he gets ready. He's like, get in position. So they get in position. And then these guys are fighting off the robots. And then finally, he's all like, he's like, we'll get your, we can get your inhibitor chip out. And he's all like, I had my inhibitor chip taken out a long time ago. And he's like, when? And he's all like, I, I don't remember what he says after that. And then he shoots him. Uh, but he, but he, but he uh, does the little thing where he knocks him out instead of kills him. And then they take him with them. And, uh, they're going to get off the planet and everything because we, we, everything's empty. The whole the city's empty. Um, and then uh, this general guy's like fire and they start firing. And this is where you really see the brutality of the Empire and their ability to just destroy, you know, completely decimate something. So they just start firing on the city like hardcore. They just start firing. These guys are still inside. Uh, it's just blast after blast. And they're all like, get back inside and everything. And they're just completely dis decimating this city, like hardcore. Like it is just taken down and they're just keep firing. They're just going to pumple this thing to the end. And um, I'll leave it on this, this last shot of the sharpshooter guy, because I, obviously he's uh, going to be, you know, I think he's going to, I think sharpshooter guy, what is his name? I'm not going to look it up. I don't care enough, but um, uh, it's, it's obvious he's going to join the group back again. Which is good. I mean, you know, you want the family back together. But um, and I'll just hold on back to this. It really just shows how the, in my opinion, how the empire can just really decimate a 
a, an area. Like if they don't like what you do, you're gone. Uh, say goodbye, bye and everything. And I remember that really, it bums me out. But at the same time, I mean, like when you're in like a, a war, like kind of thing, even though the empire is not a war, but you just want to take out your enemies kind of thing. And I get that, but you know, and the empire, they're just so brutal, so brutal in this attack on Camino just to stop uh, the secret of cloning. Like they don't want anybody to know their, the cloning secrets anymore. I'm like, man, to protect a secret, you guys will really just take out a whole freaking <laughs> culture kind of thing. So I did like this episode and I really feel like, and, and if you've been watching my reviews, you know that I really just don't like the Bad Batch as um, characters. And I, uh, I don't dislike them, but they're just kind of boring. And then the season hasn't for me been that great, but I have thought that the last, like from like when they went to Ryloth, Oh no, the episode, maybe it was the episode before Ryloth, the, the very end of that episode. But when they went to Ryloth, that was really when, um, the, the season started to pick up and get really good for me personally. Um, I really liked, uh, you know, seeing Hera and I really liked seeing like all the action. I think that 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 the show, maybe it was just missing like the action that I really like a lot. But this episode was good. I thought it had enough um, emotion and enough action to where it got me like, hey, maybe this season is going to end on a good note. Um because right now they're in Camino in that city. I don't remember the name of the city. Uh, and they got to get out of that city, which they will, because there's a, they announced season two. It's going to have a season two. And I like being in this universe. I love Star Wars. I love the whole universe of Star Wars. I love all of it and everything. Uh, you know, the sequel trilogy isn't my favorite, but if that's where we're going, I guess I'll 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 join that ride to that moment. But this is before that. So um, this is cool to see like what happened right after Order 66 and just seeing the transition from the Republic to the Empire. So I'm I'm excited to see more of this universe and see what goes down. Um, but I mean, as far as show goes, this one's like not this one's like underneath rebels, but above uh, resistance. So, uh, yeah. So so tell me, what did you guys think about this episode? Did you like this episode? Did you not like this episode? Are you excited to see what comes next? Uh, who's your favorite Bad Batch member? Uh, go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're new to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys uh, next week on my Bad Batch Breakdown and Review. You guys have a good week. May the force be with you. Bye.